Hey everybody, we're gonna do a quick little tutorial here, again using Stata to turn a string or text variable into a numeric sequence of dummy variables. So I've got a data set here that is from the World Bank Open Data Source. Uh, so we've got country level data, um, and we want to create a region dummy variable, a sequence of region dummy variables. So if we bring up the data here real quick, uh, we've got our list of, of countries, country code, uh, then we have these region descriptors and a region code. Uh, but as we know, when you see these uh, values in red in Stata, that's an indicator that it is being uh, stored in Stata as a text or a string variable. Uh, so we can't directly use it uh, in a regression or any sort of analysis, right? So if we go back, a good thing to do when you've got your uh, kind of learning about a new data set is to use the describe command, and that tells you how Stata is, is storing and reading the individual variables. So all of these str, those are all string variables. So again, that's being read as text and non-numeric. Uh, so everything else here is either an integer or a float, uh, and that's simply uh, kind of telling us how many how many digits are being stored, right? So those are all numeric values. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, you can go in Stata to uh, help and data types, and it kind of lets you know what all of that means. Uh, so all of these, byte, integer, long, float, and double, these are just increasing uh, place values uh, in, in numeric variables, okay? And all, everything that starts with str, again, those are all string or text. So, the command that we're going to use here is the encode command. So if we type in encode and the name of the variable we want to transform from text to numeric. Right? So in this case, it's going to be that region code variable. So that's going to allow us to create a new variable. So we follow it up with generate, or G-E-N. And then in parentheses, we make up a new name, so the new variable name. Let's call it R code one. Right, so this is going to be our new region code variable. And we hit enter, and let's browse our data once again here. And we go over to the the end, and we have the same values here in region code, but they've been turned from red to blue. So what does that mean? Let's go back to our describe command. And our new variable R code is stored as long numeric, right? So even though you don't see numbers, uh, that's how it's going to be read and stored in Stata. So now the last step to create the individual dummies, there's a couple ways to do this. This, I think, is the easiest way. So we're basically going to run a regression just doesn't matter what it is, but we're going to use the regress command. And let's say we're going to use this literacy rate variable here as our dependent variable. And we're going to use the uh, i dot prefix before our region code, okay? our, our, our newly created numeric R code 1 variable. That would go ahead and estimate this model uh, as literacy rate as a function of a sequence of dummy variables, region code indicator variables. But what's going to make this extra useful for us is if we use the prefix before the regress command, so way back at the beginning, of xi colon, and then regress our y variable, and then i dot our uh, encoded sequence of regions here. That's going to not only estimate the model that includes those dummy variables, it's going to create the dummy variables in our data file. Right? So if we go ahead and hit enter, and we don't really care about the, the estimation at this point, we just wanted to create these variables. So now we can go ahead and use these all at once or one at a time uh, in any future estimation. Right? And what I would probably recommend here is if we Let's sort our data by this R code one and go back and, and browse it again. So the East Asia Pacific, 
that's going to be our code one, right? So notice that there is no R code underscore one dummy variable. So it starts from two to eight. So when we estimate the model, right, we always take one dummy variable out to prevent that perfect multicollinearity dummy variable trap, right? So that's going to be kind of our, our, our baseline comparison region in this case. And we could obviously create a, a, a dummy variable uh, after this as well. And then when we get down to our next region here, so this is going to be Europe and Central Asia, that's going to be read as region code number two, right? and so on and so forth. Right? So not a bad idea to rename these created codes here. Uh, using the actual region so it'll be easier to tell what's happening in your analysis but we've got the basics here using that encode command we've got our dummy variables created and now you're ready to use those and get to work so if you have any questions let me know thanks a lot